Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed the city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With dad gone, maybe I can still help if Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. <sighs> the way things are going right now, he could use a little help. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or failing that to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. I don't buy it, Amanda. What do they call you? The Wall? You're not one to let things slip through the cracks. It's terrible on my part, I know. Whoever has been conspiring around me, they're going to regret it. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. You two can't be serious. Harley, Bane, Freeze? No, they can't be trusted. We don't have to trust them. We trust you. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. You don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. 
I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. That access door is connected to the spa. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. That appears to just be a patron. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. This is definitely the place. Bodhi Spa. Good work, Bruce. They weren't exactly being subtle. I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for, They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I'm looking for something. Aren't we all? Uh, for Harley. She sent me. Funny. She didn't mention that. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? 
And do your best, to be honest. Lies insult us both. <laughs> this is Harley's secret to get, not mine. Secret? A fourth grader could piece this together. Project Lotus is what we're after. And this is it. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. <laughs> Rice and shine. Hurry! <sighs> Hold your horses! Oh, I pity what you're about to face, Wayne. You had so much going for you, Bruce. But trying to hide your discovery from me. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it. So lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane! Tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know? Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? I also enjoy long walks on the beach. Hmm. <laughs> You're funny. Must have gotten that from your mother's side. You know, my dad could be a funny guy, too. And they all fell down To the deep to drown To the dark to drown He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. I can tell he meant a lot to you. He did. Till he blew his brains out. Now, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Same as we'll all be someday. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But, you actually care for some people. 
Like that girl John told me about. What's a face? Uh, Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh faced and optimistic. No? No, I think it was Brittany. Sorry, I barely know her. <laughs> You're cute when you're friends. You know that? I don't know if she's your friend or mortal enemy, but I know you care about her at least a little. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you must have missed something. Catwoman and I are loyal. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Spoiler alert, I ain't taking your word for it. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat! <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. You're hitting him already. I'll let it play. I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but this is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. But you know Harley. She's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. And don't think I don't feel just awful about this. Since, you know, I stole it. Can't help but feel a little bit responsible. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky.
Well, Bruce, it's been fun. Bane, get him inside. <coughs> You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I can help. You need me! Yeah. Once you're an ice cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's, he's my best friend. Aw, oh, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.